So, Eduardo, um, thank you, first of all, for being with us today. Um, I know yourself, like myself, uh, we're, we're son uh, of immigrants who came to this country, and I think we all share stories. Tell me a little bit about your story of coming to this country. Well, my story is not very different from most other immigrants uh, who, has, who have come to this country. In my case, I came here uh, along with my younger brother. Uh, our parents uh, wanted to get us out of Cuba uh, to be able to uh, protect us from communism. And uh, so we arrived in Miami and uh, had to uh, find our way, uh, basically because all we had with us was whatever we were wearing. So we didn't know the language, we didn't know the culture, uh, we didn't even know where we were going to be staying. And uh, my brother went uh, with them. And the rest uh, is uh, history, you know, going to school, uh, trying to do the best that I could, uh, working to be able to support myself. Uh, and I've been very, very fortunate to be able to get an education in this country all the way through my PhD in economics uh, at the University of Florida, so I'm a Gator. And uh, it's, uh, it, it is something that I thank God every day, and I thank this country, this great nation of ours, for the opportunities that I've been given. <coughs> so I have tried to give back for all the good things that have happened to me ever since. Do you, do you think um, those experiences were what led you to education, or did you have a different career path at first? Well, I never planned to be an educator. Uh, my idea of coming to America and the American dream was to make a lot of money. And as we know, you don't make a lot of money <coughs> in education. So I studied economics all the way through my doctorate in order to go and work for a large uh, corporation and, you know, be in the business world. But something happened uh, uh, toward the end of my studies uh, in visiting my former professors, uh, by the way, at Miami Dade College which is where I started my college career, who uh, told me that I needed to, uh, to teach and pay my dues for everything that they did for me. How do you feel every day that you come to the college and you bump into a student and they, and I don't know this for a fact, but if they ask you a question about their career paths, what, what kind of direction do you give? Well, for those students who are unsure what they want to do, what they want it to be, the best advice that I can give them is to follow their passion. They have to do something that is really satisfying to them. That's why I'm an educator, because I find my, uh, my reward every single day. And there is not a place that I don't go by, even in school, but whether I go shopping or I go to the movies or I travel, I find people that are so <coughs> appreciative of the opportunities that Miami Dade College has given them. People who today are contributing members of society, who are doing well, who are playing leadership roles in different businesses, in different fields. And uh, that I cannot think of anything more rewarding than the work that we do, because you see the results very tangible uh, in more ways than one. But Miami-Dade, as well as Miami-Dade County, is constantly changing. So how have you had to reinvent or add to your position uh, as compared to your job description, what, what have you done differently? What do you feel have uh, been things that weren't in that job description? Well, one thing is a job description and the other thing is what you built into it. And what I find is that my job is different every single day because I may come with a list of 10 things that I want to accomplish today, but then other priorities <coughs> uh, present themselves and opportunities present themselves. And I think what has made Miami-Dade College such a great institution is the fact that it's an institution that has uh, allowed itself to mold, uh, to change and adapt with the changing times to the society that we serve. What do you plan on doing? Uh, wh what is the next great or big thing for Eduardo Padron? Well, the big challenge for me is deciding among the many options that I have, which one I want to pursue. But I can guarantee you this, whatever it is that I do, I can assure you that I will be as busy or busier than I am right now. I'm stepping down from the presidency, but I'm not stepping down from this community or, uh, you know, people talk about retirement. I don't believe in retirement. I don't believe that word is not in my dictionary. 
uh, I feel that I still have a lot to, to give. And this is a community that I love tremendously because it's a community that welcomed me to the United States. And there, there is a lot that I want to do to be able to make this a better community. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you, you're going to be around in this community still active because we needed Eduardo Padron. 